Hello guys and welcome back to another Ursina video and in today's video I'm gonna be doing some bug some bug fixes for our uh, for our Minecraft game for our game sorry and we're also gonna do we're also gonna see if we can add some simple things so let's go ahead and get started <clears throat> so the first thing I want to do is I want to start by pointing out the issue uh, about uh, sorry not the building the destroying issue destroying um so when you like destroy uh, when you left click on the air so let me just show you for a while uh, so if you're on the program <clears throat> you know that you know that last time we did it so that like when we hit when we like break any entity or left click on it it goes down to create that animation that um, something is like breaking down, I guess. Uh, but there is a little bit of a glitch where if you click on the air, it says it gives you an error of non type object has no attribute of Y. And that is because we are clicking on somewhere where there is no entities to, uh, I guess, adjust the Y position down. And so what we want to do is we want to use something called the try and accept. So I want to show you an example of it right there on my prepared code. Uh, sorry, not this. All of this. And by the way, if, if this video reaches uh, 5 or 10 likes, I want to make a video specially on try and accept function. Uh, but if you stay in this video, you're also going to understand it. So if you're looking for, uh, I guess, learning try and accept function, this is also for you. So uh, here we're basically doing what we're basically doing is first of all i want to uh, indent all of this and i want to show you what happens if we do try and then comma this is what i want to do or sorry colon try colon <clears throat> and this is basically gonna try all this piece of code uh oops let's undo that uh we're gonna try all this piece of code and then if it doesn't work so accept if it has an error, um, I think I misspelled it, yep. Uh, if we have an error, now we could specify the error over here, but we can accept any error if we like. If we, if you want to accept any error, we can just type in accept column. And then after that, you want to type in what you want to do if it doesn't work. So in my case, I want to just pass through the code and do nothing. Now, to check that if this is working, what you want to do is print and maybe test on the program. Uh, as you can see, you can still do this. And then, as you can see, it works. It says test, if you can see down here. And now, instead of printing text, we're going to just pass. Now, uh, I think you already know what pass does. It basically just completes the code without doing anything. So. Uh, try to left click mouse uh, if like the left click is clicked uh, then it's gonna net minus the or adjust the y position down by one uh, but if there's no entity there except the like the error that there's no entity there that we had showing up then just pass through the code and ignore what we just did and that means that this is out of the way Good. So now uh, let's add some simple AI to the mobs, the, like the zombie we've got specifically. Now, before I do this, I just want to tell you that I have done a new uh, texture for my, uh, I guess, zombie. Uh, so we don't have to use the, the, the zombie texture anymore. Now, here, now uh, I will make a video on how to make a texture, the, te the Minecraft textures. Uh, you know, what? actually, let's not implement it until that video. So, uh, let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit to where we have the mob right there. Next, we're going to add a bit of an algorithm where if, you, if it, like, the mob keeps following you and there's sometimes a bit of a distance between you, you can do that too. Uh, now, let me show you an example again of it down there. So, uh, if we go ahead and do zombie one, which is the name of your end with your... Uh, I guess entity or mob and then dot add 
uh, underscore script. It was this, right? Uh, yep, add underscore script. And then we're going to add smooth follow. Oops. And this is spelling right there. Smooth follow underscore. No, capital letters. Okay, so follow. Smooth follow. And this is basically this basically makes it so that it follows you smoothly. Now it's completely customizable. You can make it instantly follow you, or smoothly, or very slow, or very fast. It's up to you. So uh, after this, there, it takes a bit of an of arguments. So first of all, you need to specify the target uh, where you want it to follow. So, so this opens some opportunities where you, if you, for example, you want a zombie to follow a villager when you add these two mobs, I guess. Uh, yeah, that, that's that's a possibility. But for now, I want to do player, which is us, the player. <laughs> and then offset is basically how distance away uh, you want between us and the mob. So you, the mob can't get any closer if it is uh, on the offset limit. So I'm going to do offset equals, and then we're going to open a list. Uh, we're going to do, so the first is x, y, then z. So let's say we want our mob to be 1.5 or, you know what, let's just do 2, 0, uh, oops, a mistake, uh, 2. Yeah, so now this is the y position. If you want it to be distance away from you, like if you're doing a flying mob or something, you probably could do the y position, but if you're not, uh, just don't. Okay, so the next one is the speed. So how fast do you want the mob to follow you? Now, if you leave it blank, it's going to just stick to you and you won't be able to get out of it. But the speed I recommend is 1 or like in between of 1 and 0 0.5. Now let's uh, try 1 for now. Uh, huh. So now we can run the program and see how this works. Uh, where is our little fellow zombie? As you can see, uh, he's even matching with our Y position. So if we jump, he jumps. Uh, but he's sinking through the floor right now, <laughs> which we probably don't want. Uh, oh, he is going a bit down, though. Oh, we need to not set a Y position for him, for him to actually be able to stay with us. Okay, so he's up there. Um... Uh, let's move a little bit back. Okay, we've got a bit of an issue right there. Uh, let's see uh, what we did right there. Um, okay, I don't think there's anything different with it. Uh, yeah, okay, so I think I think it's, I think it's okay. Um, uh, you could technically change the offset or the, the y position to uh, y equal, uh, let's just say negative 1, but that won't do anything, so, so we could just leave it like this. Yeah, okay, I don't know why he's sinking through the floor below me. Let's change offset a little bit and see if this works. Maybe because my Y position is counted below me. Yes, okay, it works. So maybe it's because, yeah, the Y position is counted the block under me, but the Y position of him is counted at the head. This makes sense. Now, uh, probably should fix that. <laughs> like, it really shouldn't be the zombie that goes down if I hit it. Um, now, I have a pretty cool way to make it so that, like, uh, if you hit a mob with a collider, uh, or not collider, I don't know, um, you can do whatever you want, then it, uh, it becomes red and it falls down as if it's dying, and you can even make it uh, play a sound. Uh, so, yes, I can do that, uh, but I'll leave that for another tutorial. So, yeah. Now, let's try messing with this a little bit. Let's try adding an entity, like a cube entity. Um, so let's just say test 
underscore cube one equals um, we'll make it an entity now it can even follow blocks as blocks are also entities in Rosina so entity and then we're gonna have a model uh, let's make let's make a simple cube entity like just white uh, oops sorry uh, cube and we'll make the the color let's make it uh, color uh, green we'll just make it green <clears throat> and I guess we can run the program and see if that works uh, okay but it's a bit on the grass block so we need it to y equals y plus one i guess now you could technically set it to a certain y position oops y is not different oh uh yes of course so it doesn't work uh okay so it does work and as you can see our fellow zombie is following us but let's see what happens if we change the target so it's called test underscore cube one and because i don't think it can read it down there to avoid errors we'll just put it on top of it and then we can run the program and as you can see <laughs> the cube i mean the zombie is following the cube and you probably can't see this right now because he's standing still but if i go ahead and say and we'll, we'll do something crazy right there so we'll do test underscore cube now just to explain the smooth follow thing that you can do it with any mob equals entity um oops not entity sorry <laughs> uh test cube dot add script forgot for a while uh smooth follow target equals player <clears throat> offset we'll make the offset um uh I guess we could make it the same thing, like the zombie. Uh huh. Two. Uh, we'll see if we need to change the y position, and then we have speed equals one. Perfect. Let's go ahead and try it out. Um, test cube is not defined. Uh oh, test cube one. Sorry. <clears throat> Okay, where is my test cube? Oh, it's right there. And as you can see, the test cube is following me, plus the zombie is following the text, the test cube. So you see, it works. Yep, there we go. Now, I, you could potentially play with it until you get it, uh, for example, as you want. Like, for example, you want a cube to keep moving far away and then like for it, moving infinitely in the update function uh, you can do like x like uh, test cube one dot x uh, equals equals like test cube dot x plus one I guess um, so it would be something like this test test cube one x equals test cube one the x plus one so it keeps adding one and you probably have to do it in the update function uh now if you would like if you have any ideas uh, for the test cube thing you pr you can put them in the comments down below and i will check them and maybe put them on my to-do list up there but for now we'll go ahead and remove that test cube and we'll make the zombie follow us again uh there and for our speed let's modify a little bit we'll make it a bit faster 0 0.5 let's get the speed right so uh still seems a bit slow definitely seems a bit slow 
uh wait what if it is 0 0.1 is that gonna slow it up oh wait a minute oh if we get the numbers small okay yeah, i forgot so it's not 0 0.5 to to one it's one to i guess 1.5 because i tried to it was a little bit too fast we could use to it's still usable though uh, as you can see, our air click works, and okay, that that's a bit of a that's a bit of a better speed, I guess. Uh, if you do two, let's see. Mm, where are you? There we go. Uh, yeah, that's also acceptable, I guess. But if you want it for fast mobs, I guess that's that's what you should do. Now, I guess the only issue with this is, is that if you set the offset to something like 0, 0, and you want to have a fast mob like that, it would be pretty hard to escape. Because <laughs> as you can see, he, he is pretty fast. And you might potentially get some glitches if you have a collider. Um, yeah. <laughs> There's definitely some potential for glitches right there. Uh, so I probably recommend removing the collider or just making the offset a little bit higher so that when you touch the collider, it stops. So it's 0 0.5 or something. Uh, so you can't actually go over the zombie or something to performing glitches. Uh, yep, that fixes every single glitch. And yeah, it works. So uh this is it for this video i hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial if you did make sure you leave a like and subscribe and you can remove this and i'll see you guys in the next video